we doing, guys? Crown the area here. Been a little bit. I know. Had to take some time off because I got my car back, actually. And I figured, hey, you know what we're going to do? We're totally going to start a new video right now of an unboxing of a new magic set that just came out in its full entirety today. And that magic set was called Kaladesh. Kaladesh is, for you guys who play Magic and for you guys who don't, or actually have some interest in Magic, Kaladesh is the homeworld of Chandra Nalar, and there's just a ton of artifacts, and there's an inventor's fair going on, we get the return of Tezzeret on this plane, we get to see Pia Nalar, which is Chandra's mom, and we get to visit this entire awesome plane, an entirely new plane, entirely new world, we, get the little, we got a little hint of it, though, in Magic Origins. We did get a little hint of it, though, in Magic Origins. But, as well as the fact that I got a fat pack, which now includes ten, ten boosters. It includes ten boosters. And not, not, not nine, but ten boosters. That's insane. They added one more booster. You still get the dice, you still get the booklet, and you still get the box. And all the awesome, cool stuff that Kaladesh and none of the fat packs have. So, that's awesome. As well as Kaladesh did something pretty cool too. This set actually includes two Planeswalker packs. Right here. One is Nissa, who is Nature's Artisan. We have the Nissa Nature's Artisan Planeswalker foil premium card right there. As well as a deck. And from the behind of it, it looks like we have a little deck box with it too for her. So that's cool. And we got Chandra's intro deck as well, Planeswalker, they're called Planeswalker decks, and we got Chandra right here, Pyro Genius, the Pyro Planeswalker card, Pyro Planeswalker's card, and I'll do an unboxing for those on a different video, because I really just want to do this fat pack, okay, want to do this fat pack, now fat packs are really awesome, they are about, this one ran me 32, thanks to Mason and most excellent gaming uh, cards and comics, in Enfield, Connecticut, shameless plug, but Mason is one of my favorite guys. He does a lot of, he does a lot of for me, comic, uh, comics and cards wise as well. So it makes me happy. But cow, fat packs are awesome, and they're really great starters for new sets. You get now you get ten packs of cards. Now you get ten. And what's awesome about that is we used to get nine odd number. Now we get ten, good even number, and we still get everything. It also gives you a booklet of what's in the set of all the cards, the backstory, some strategies as well for cards that are in the set. It's really cool. As well as we get a nice unique spin down life, uh, life counter. And the outside of this packaging is actually artwork when you break it open inside, which I will show you just promptly. So let me bust open the plastic and we'll get to showing you what's inside, okay? Alright, got the plastic open. As you can see, we got the plastic open now. And right here, here's the box. I'm gonna slide it out, and that's diff. Oh, that's different. We slide the box out. Oh, okay. So what's in what's this little box for? It's, I don't. This is like a little box, or oh yeah, cool. I don't know if it's supposed to be a little box, but definitely you can hold dice in here. So that's cool. Definitely hold the dice. So that's a good thing. I'm gonna hold on to this. It even got the planes blocker symbol on there. That's the Planeswalker symbol. And what else we got in here? Let's see. Uh, nope. <laughs> the, you know, just in case I ever ran out of the store with it. We got the player's guide right here. Which, like I said, it gives you some, you know, new mechanics. Which is, it's got energy. Keldish has three new mechanics. Three different things. Then we got energy. Vehicles, vehicles like there's a roadster looking car, like a lace and wool car, there's an airship, and we also got Fabricate. Also gives you a little backstory about the ether cycle. Right here, we got, you know, there's a little about the ether cycle and Inventor Society listing. Oh, dropped it. Dropped it. Inventor Society listings, we also got. Uh, elves, Velduck, and you know the creatures that are actually on the plane. We got 
the Inventor's Fair backstory. We got Planeswalker backgrounds for Sahili Rai and Dovin Bane. And here we are with the card encyclopedia in the back. Shows you all the cards in the set. All the cards in the set as well. So, pretty awesome. So, it shows you some cards right here. Um, definitely looking when we open one of these packs to get the Masterwork cards. It doesn't show the Masterworks in this booklet. I can see it does not show the Masterwork cards in the booklet. Now, the Masterwork cards are awesome cards in the set that are actually expensive artifacts that were once in other packs, like Sword of Feast and Famine, Crucible of Worlds, Chrome Mox, uh, and a couple other ones that are really great. Uh, a Soul Ring, Gauntlet of Power, cards like that are been have been remade and turned into these things called Kaladesh Masterwork card or Kaladesh Inventions or Masterworks. And like I show you right now, this is also don't be afraid. I'm not destroying it, but as you can see, when I open it all the way, damn sticky tape, when I open it all the way it is artwork, it is the promo that I'm going to go hang on my wall somewhere around here now I'm going to show you what's inside the box see, open the box we got our spin down counter, this one is actually red I got a white one for pre-release I'm pretty happy about that uh, we get a as always, we get an 80 card an 80 card basic land pack, which is 20 of each. 20 of each land? Give or take. 20 of each land. We have a quick reference guide that they always give us, especially in the starter intro packs. And all the 10 packs. Let's get to the moment we all been waiting for. Let's get to the packs. Let's see what I pull in these 10 packs, shall we? So we're going to open pack number one right here. I'm going to do it off screen just to get it up. And I'm pretty excited. i uh, got some good stuff in the pre-release. I got the new Nissa Planeswalker that's not part of the uh, intro starter pack for her. But I did get her Vital Force one, so that's a nice one. So let's uh, get to number one here. Let's see what we got. We got Spireside Infiltrator. Tassel Dromedary. Dromedary. It is a camel creature. That's cool. Uh, Ether Theorist. He's pretty cool. And as you can see, the new mechanic. We get three energy uh, when three energy counters when he enters the battlefield. Uh, disappointing thing though, he there are no none of the actual energy token cards. That's kind of disappointing. There are no energy tokens. I'm gonna probably make one, or I'm just gonna use a Pokemon Electric card as the energy and throw people off. Uh, Reckless Fire Reaver, Thriving Rats, High Spire Artisan, Torch Gauntlet, Hunt the Weak, a very nice, very nice card for green. This is one of the new cards I was talking about. The vehicle is called a Sky Skiff, has crew, you have to have a power of one or more. You have to tap any number of creatures to have the power of one or more, and you have Flying 2-3. We get a Windrake. The Wisp Weaver Angel, not my rare, but my uncommon. That was one of the angels. There are actually two. We have Servo Expedition, Sequestered Stash. It's a land, and oh, metal. There's my rare Metalwork Colossus, right there. It's a 10-10. Cost 11 to cast. Cost X less is where X is the total converted mana cost of non-creature artifacts you control. New Island card and a Servo Token. Very nice. Not bad for pack one. Not bad for pack one at all. Open this one up. And, uh, just want to let you guys know, please, if you, uh, see what you like, or you got any tips about magic, let me know in the comments section. And if you like anything I pull, let me know you like the con- uh, uh, let me know in the comments section. We got Built a Smash, Fragmentize, World Fast Wingsmith, Demolish, Malfis Malfa Squad, Human Artificers. We got Appetite for the Unnatural. We also got Metal Spinner's Knot. Or Metal Spinner's Puzzle Knot. Another Windrake. 
Accomplished Automaton. This one's pretty good. We got the foo. We got a the Fabricate right there. New mechanic Fabricate. Or actually probably. Oh god, we broke it. <laughs> oh god. Camera down. Camera is down. I repeat. There we go. Foundry Screecher. Foundry Inspector. As you can see, a lot of, a lot of artifacts cards, like I said, definitely because of the Inventor's Fair going on. Uh, Experimental Aviator. Reason Scourge. The Other Angel, Angel of Invention. That's a Mythic. That's a good one. It's a Fabricate 2. A Swamp. And a Thopter Token. Very nice. Okay. Alright, going on to pack three now. Going on to pack three. We got Wayward Giant. Subtle Strike. Uh, Cooter Seed Sculptor. Uh, Giant Spectacle. Die Young. There's actually a card called Live Fast. I do have it. That's pretty funny. Weld Fast Monitor. Pressure Point. Riparian Tiger. This is actually a really good one. I do like this one. We Prophetic Prism. Undead Hand Designs. Ruler Virtuoso. Trusty Companion. It's a hyena. That's cool. Ooh! We got the Legendary Creature. We got Padim Console of Innovation. Artifact creatures, artifacts you control have hexproof at the beginning of your upkeep. If you have the high artifact with the highest inverted mana cost, or tied for the card, tied, do that. Oop, we got a hijack, gain control of target artifact or creature until end of turn. A planes and a servo token. That one's pretty good. We got another mythic and a mythic legendary, so that's pretty good for if I want to make an all blue commander deck. We also got a uh, foil hijack. Hijack is a really nice card for. Uh, hijacking of vehicles. So that's a plus. We're on to pack number four. And uh, not too bad so far. Not too bad. I hope you guys like what you see so far. Uh, also, please make sure if you like my channel and like what you see, please subscribe to my channel as well. We got Ether Trade Wins, a good card for card. Uh, another Reckless Fire Weaver. Uh, Dirk Dakara Scavenger. Siege of Shala's Claim. The Cog Workers Puzzle Knot. There's a Puzzle Knot for each land, too. If you When you see it. We got a Renegade, Renegade Freighter, which is a nice little train. We have Rush of Vitality. Another Well Fast Monitor. Well Wielding Sparks. There's P and R. Chandra's Mum. Larger Than Life. Target Creature gets plus four, plus four. That's a nice card for the fact that it's only two mana cost. Ether Torch Renegade. Contraband Kingpin. Minister of Inquiries. Oh, we got a rare vehicle. We got the Fleet Wheel Cruiser. Has Trample and Haste. When we got a Forest. And another Servo Token. This is my favorite Servo Token. Reminds me of a little Transformer guy. So, really liking this set. I do like this set a lot. I'm Hopefully in one of these packs we can pull a Masterworks. Uh, my friend Hillary pulled a Chrome Mox, and I was pretty jealous of that. I mean, it was a nice card, definitely worth like $100 or so. So let's go to pack number five. Halfway through, we got Herald of the Fair. High Tired Hermit. It's a Crab with Defender. It's a 4-4. Four -four. Nice. We got Ambitious Aetherborn. We got Cowl Prowler. We got Renegade Tactics. Renegade Freighter, another pressure point. Bastion Mastodon, now oh, that's a nice elephant. Aerofat creature elephant, look at him. He definitely uh, definitely going to be part of the Mighty Morphin Power Rangers right there, huh? Maybe. Got another Wielding Sparks, we got a Cog Workers Puzzle Mod again. We got Long Tusk, Cra uh, Long Tusk Cub, not Crab, sorry. Servant of the Conduit. Morbid Curiosity. Oh, another mythic, not bad. Metallurgic summoning is very nice. Uh, one of the new mountain lands. 
and the Thopter token. So far, pretty good. We got some good mythics going on here. Some good ones. We are on pack number six. And here we go. Here we go. Here we go. Here we go now. Now. Here we go. Here we go. Let's pull a master work. Here we go. Here we go. Let's pull a master work. Got built to smash. Fragmentize. Well, fast wing smith. Demolish. Great. Uh, Create destroy card for artifacts or lands. A thriving rhino. Lawless broker. A wind drake. Another sky skiff. Propeller pioneer. Wood weaver's puzzle knot. Ballista charger. Look at that. It's got a big cannon on it. We got whirler maker, which makes it if you got four banner, make a one one colorless stopper artifact creature token. We got Quicksmith Genius. Oh, Concealed Courtyard. We got a double land for Plains and Swamp. So we got a Swamp and a Nathopter token. Which is really funny. In my Commander deck for Tajik, I actually have a card. I have Pia and, I have Pia and Kieran Nalar in there, and they make uh, two Thopter tokens when they come out. And I didn't have any Thopter tokens at all, and I'm playing with my toes, obviously. Look at my toes want to do what they want to do but I was playing I've been playing them and I don't have any Thopter tokens and now I have a ton of Thopter tokens imagine that so on to pack number seven so far I'm liking what we got so far definitely got some good cards got some nice artifacts got some vehicles I definitely want to make a vehicle deck but uh, commander deck but I need more vehicles and I need the right legendary creature that's a red uh, yellow uh, Plains and a red mountain. So we got Nuth Bridge Patrol, Dwarf Soldier, Aether Theorist, an Ambitious Aether Born. We got Takedown, there's a nice spear going after a Drake there, nice. Impeccable Timing, this is one of the things right here when Baral constructed his trap for Chandra, he did not account for the arrival of an enormous lean in wheeling a twin headed axe. We got a Johnny is on the plane, he's not, I don't know what's going on with him, pretty curious to see what's going to happen. Uh, we got Consulate Sky Gate. It's a defending wall that has reach. Might as well have everything. That's good. Curio Vendor. We got a Riparian Tiger. We got the Aradaria Express. Oh, we got an Oval Drag. Oval Chase Dragster. We got two vehicles. Feeling pretty good here. We got the Wisp Weaver Angel. Elegant. <laughs> Elegant Edge Crafter. Sorry. Oh. Skyship Stalker. We got the dragon, the rare dragon that's in this one. Very nice. Oh, we got a f foil. Prakata Club Security. Island. And we got a construct. And it's probably my mom's friends being way too loud, so I'm trying to wrap this up here. We're on pack number eight. Pack number eight. It's going down. Gonna finish this up. We got another ninth bridge patrol, ninth, not nith. High tide hermit built to smash. Malthus squad night market lookout. Impeccable timing again. A Johnny. We got consulate skygate. Nice, nice walls. Curio vendor. Riparian tiger. Another Aradara express. I'll get better at saying that. Weapon craft enthusiast. He's nice. He got, he's got fabricate, so I can make servos, or I can put two token plus one plus one creatures on it instead. I got a long uh, got a whale. Got the long thin sky whale. Uh, trusty companion. Oh, another mythic rare. We got the demon, the demon of dark schemes. We got the planes, and we got a servo token. Very nice. Very nice indeed. We're on pack number nine. We're almost there. Uh, got some nice mythics going on, but no masterworks. So let's if we get a masterwork in this pack, one of these packs, I'm definitely gonna be excited. Definitely gonna be worth it. But you know, all these cards are worth it as is. So new set, new rule, and everything. So we got another ninth bridge patrol, Ether Theorist, Spire Side Infiltrator, High Spire Artisan, Ambitious Etherborn. 
Consulate Sky Guy. Commencement of festivities. Impeccable timing. Fire Forge's puzzle knot. So like I said, each plane, uh, each land card has their own puzzle knot. Curio vendor. Shrewd negotiation. Experimental aviator. Brazen scourge. Paharma. Ugh. Panharma. Oh my God. Panharm. Manak. Whatever. You get. If you can say it, you're welcome. That's pretty cool. A forest and a servo token. Pretty nice there. Not bad. Good pickup. Good pickups. Panharmanakan. That's how you say it. Definitely going to have to take my time with that one. Definitely. And we're on the final pack that has the demon on it. Will I get something good? Let's find out. Comment down below if you think I get something good. We got Wayward Giant, Built to Last, Revolutionary Rebuff, Spire Side Infiltrator, Lawless Broker, Kujar Seed Sculptor, Weird Woodweaver's Puzzle, ah, uh, Woodweaver's Puzzle Knot, Salvating, Salvating Gremlins, Creepy, Workshop Assistant, Hunt the Weak, Filigree Familiar, Start your engines. Master of Inquiries. Ooh. Ether Skull Ancient. We got a rare Leviathan. Very nice. A forest. And not even a token. Wow. Not even a token. Just something for Magic Duels. Which is a very nice game. If you're into Magic, definitely advise playing Magic Duels. If you already know about Magic Duels because you play Magic, even better. So that's all, that was all 10. If you like what you saw, please subscribe to my channel. If you like what I pull, please comment down below. And if you want to give, and if you like this video, please give me a thumbs up right there and smash that like button. Smash it! Smash it! Smash it! So, I'll see you guys on Monday with a new Game Day Monday where I play a video game on Twitch and I put it on my channel. So if you want to see that, make sure you subscribe. Also, tune in on Monday for Game Day Monday, as well as on Wednesdays I talk about new comic books that come out, and I justly named it Comic Talk Wednesday. So I'll see you guys next week. Two new videos. Also, a third video when I do those Planeswalker decks. Unreveal them. Also, reveal the stuff from the four packs I get as well. See you guys next week with three new videos. And make sure you hit that subscribe button down below. See you next week.